Nervous about taking your at-home impressions? Don't worry, we promise it will be easy and we're here to show you how to make a great impression. So get your impression kit ready and let's get started. Ready, set, impress. You'll be taking four impressions, two of your top teeth, two of your bottom teeth, along with five total photos. We'll walk you through your first impression, but start by watching this video, reading the manual all the way through, then rewind and follow along as you do each impression. Remember, do not begin your impressions until you have watched this video and read the impression guide. The impression kit has everything you'll need to give us your best impressions and photos. Included in the kit are four white and four purple putties, with an extra two sets provided in case you need to redo an impression. Also included are gloves to keep things clean, a total of four impression trays, two upper and two lower, a small stretcher for your photos and the impression guide. As you work on each impression, be sure to have the corresponding section in your impression guide in front of you. A dental form is also included in your kit, which will need to be filled out completely before sending your impressions back to us. The information you provide will help our orthodontists determine if you qualify for treatment and to design your treatment plan. The first step is to prepare the putty. You'll have 30 seconds to blend the putties and prepare the tray before the blended putty starts to harden. This is why it's important to use a timer. Mix the purple and white putty together aggressively. It takes a little bit of effort, so be sure to mix it until it's one solid color of purple with no white streaks. We recommend using your fingertips to knead the putties together instead of rolling them in your palms. Next, roll the fully mixed putty into a 4-inch cylinder, using the measurement box in the manual to help you get the right size as shown here. Now, load the rolled putty into the tray like this, making sure the putty is evenly distributed around the tray. This step is just to show you how you will need to align your teeth over the loaded putty and how deeply your teeth will need to sink into the putty. It's important that your teeth aren't too close to the impression tray. Don't worry, we're going to show you how to do this in live action in just a few seconds. Now we're ready to take your first top impression. Be sure to use one of the top trays when doing the impressions of your top teeth. They are marked with the letter U. Start off by preparing a top tray, just as we showed you in the previous steps. Now that your top tray is prepared, aim your two front teeth to land in the centre of the putty. Next, use your thumbs to push the tray against your teeth. Push in a single firm motion without biting down on the impression. Keep applying pressure along the entire tray until your front teeth and your back teeth are completely covered with putty. It's extremely important that your front and back teeth sink fully into the putty, ensuring that your putty reaches your gum line in the front as well as in the back of your mouth. Be sure to pull your lip over the putty and the tray and keep the tray in your mouth for three and a half minutes. After your timer is up, you can remove the tray from your mouth. The easiest way is to gently pull down on the sides of the tray and use the handle to remove. Don't worry, we're all human. A bit of drool is absolutely normal. After each impression, be sure to compare them to the impression examples in the impression guide and in this video. When comparing your impressions, here are some important things to look out for. One, putty that is thoroughly mixed should be completely purple, without any white streaks. Two, there should be a lot of putty above the impression of the teeth. 
This extra lip of putty will allow our orthodontists to detect your gum line. Three, having sunk your teeth properly into the putty, your molars should be visible in the impression and all teeth pressed down into the putty close to the tray. Four, make sure that your impression was taken just once. You should never bite into an impression for a second time. And now we're going to show you what a bad impression looks like. If you make any of these mistakes, your impressions will be rejected by our orthodontists. One, this impression would be rejected because the bite is not deep enough. This happens when the front and back teeth don't push all the way through the putty to the tray. If your impressions are too shallow, your orthodontist won't be able to see your gums. Make sure you feel your front and back teeth sink into the putty each time you make an impression. Two, this impression would be rejected because the gum line is too faint at the front of the tray. The orthodontist won't be able to see where the teeth end and the gum line begins. This happens when the lips are not pulled over the putty and the tray. Three, this impression would be rejected because the front teeth are breaking through the putty and are too close to the tray. This happens when the front teeth are not properly centered in the tray. Four, this impression would be rejected because the impression has been removed from the tray. It's very important that you send us your impressions with the tray. Finally, you'll do two impressions of your bottom teeth. Use the trays marked with an L when doing impressions of your bottom teeth. Prepare the putties just as you did for your top impressions as shown in steps one to three of the video. For your bottom impressions, use your fingers to push your tray downwards onto your teeth. It helps to lock your thumbs onto your lower jaw. Push in a single firm motion and keep applying pressure along the entire tray evenly until your front teeth and back teeth sink fully into the putty. Just as you did with the top impressions, be sure to pull your bottom lip over the putty and the tray. After three and a half minutes, you can remove the tray. The easiest way to do so is to pull up on the sides of the tray and then to remove the tray from your mouth using the handle. To capture your photos, your phone will work just fine, but don't use the selfie camera, but instead the main back camera, as you will need to use flash for all the photos. You'll need to take a total of five photos of your teeth that will help our orthodontists to design your treatment plan. You'll need your nifty smile stretcher located in your kit and a friend to help you take the photos. Put your cheek stretcher in your mouth with the bigger tabs on the inside of your cheek and the handle facing down. Push the sides gently together to put it in your mouth. To capture your front smile, bite all the way down on your back teeth so that your back molars are touching and look straight ahead into the camera. We'll need to see your gums, so make sure your lips aren't covering your gums. To capture the right bite, keep the same bite as before and rotate slightly so that all of your back teeth are visible. Gently pulling the right side of the smile stretcher to the side will help make sure that all of your teeth are visible. For the left bite, do exactly as you did in the previous right bite photo, but instead for the left side of your bite. To capture your upper teeth, tilt your head back and open your mouth wide to make sure all surfaces of your top teeth are visible. This photo can be tricky, so it might take a couple of tries to get it right. For the lower teeth, we need to see the surfaces of your bottom teeth all the way to the back of your mouth. Make sure your tongue is not covering your bottom teeth and as with all the photos, make sure you use the flash so that the molars are visible and well lit. Don't forget to compare your photos to the photos in the manual before sending them to us. Don't be afraid to retake some of them to get it right. Great job with the impressions and photos. Now, take a second to go through the checklist in the impression guide 
to make sure you've completed all of the steps. See, we told you that wouldn't be so hard, right? Thanks for choosing Frank Smile, and we can't wait to see your new smile.